Welcome back, folks, to this Let's Play of Civilization V. I'm Perry. And I'm Cab. And uh, we're struggling through the uh, the Bronze Ages. So, uh, we're <laughs> actually, we're still Stone Age, I think. It's hmm. called Ancient. Ancient Era. No, this is, there's plenty of error going on with me. Oh, goodness. Spain just jumped from last place to in front of you. I guess they built, built a city or something. They they something. No, there's still just one city. Well, let's see. I need. And I wouldn't worry about the score at any time, soon. No, I'm. I'm not. I'm just. I'm actually more than anything amused at how I, I've, I found how to be the, the the best last place I can be. <laughs> oh, the city state is taunting me now. They gave me a mission to find Indone Indonesia. I'm trying. I find their units all the time, but I can't find them. So I assume that they're not on the same continent, actually. Oh well. Come on, little settler. I need ya. Actually, whoa, what? And now it says I found Indonesia. Where? No idea. <laughs> well, I can't see it. No, uh, not neither can I. That's why I'm kind of wondering what the heck. Uh, Oh, well, I'm not going to complain, but gives me a plus two happiness for a while. Not sure where I supposedly met them. Ah, well. Oh, they're over there. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to find any more good yachts, but nah, that's fine. Let's start moving. Time to, time to grow, and yeah, we'll grab that. Yeah, I've been playing Civ 2 a lot recently, so I'm kind of in the mindset of that game, and uh, <laughs> this game is a bit more complicated. Just a bit. Just a bit. Just a little bit. We probably want the cow. Jumped over the moon. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, actually, the Spaniards did build a new city. I'm, I'm heading, heading down to join you. If you're noticing. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh, it, it's, <laughs> it's cozy down here. There's lots of room. Uh, I want to sit there. But I kind of want to block him first. Spain announces to the world that it is now protecting Monaco. Attacking the city-state or demanding tribute from it will greatly damage relations and may lead to war. You can tell, yeah, you by, better do it. You can tell by the depth of sincerity in my voice how, how uh, threatening I take that. Do I want to do a massive land grab or do I want to do a more cautious land grab? Yes. <laughs> mm. 
Um, that's going to take four turn. Ah, we're going to do the aggressive one. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Warrior is going to run away. Oh, did you find some friends? I've got a lot of very active barbarian huts over here, so it's... Yeah, that do it. I've got three of them all basically equidistant from the capital. See, one, two... One, two... Three. Yeah, let's go there. Come on, come on. We need faith. We need faith. Oh, ah. Of faith, it faith preserves. Or whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling. Yeah, I've been expanding too slowly, I feel. When I see the AI is at two and three cities, and kind of. Oops. And of course, the barbarian decided to go there. Ah. Uh, What is that? I ah, kill it. Kill it with fire! Best way to kill something. Let's go there. Come on, Kev. Yay! I'm just agonizing about a few decisions. I... There's no perfect answer. Pretty hot. Lucky you. You know, I've actually got a big enough problem with barbarians. I'm having to uh, station my my troops on top of my workers just to make sure they're safe. Except for my one scout. My one scout's allowed to go do whatever the hell it wants. I'm pretty sure I didn't activate Raging Barbarians or anything like that. Ah. Ooh. We can all just scroll out of that, that room. Need more gold. Ah. Another barbarian encampment. Bah! St stop spawning barbarians. I don't need them. go there? That's the question. Woohoo! Multiple incoming barbarians. Mm 
That sounds pleasant. Uh, no. <laughs> Indonesia, why must you always get in the way? I'm trying, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. My side of the street. I'm trying to anyway. Well, at least he isn't doing the human move and killing my settler. Stealing it, rather. That's what a human would have done. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 oh, let's that's... do... Oh, that's right. This goddamn stacking rules for this game. It's a city. We can only have one unit. So anyway. Like, I understand you wrote Panzer General. Congratulations. Thank you very much. However, you know, there's a pool over there. Go jump in it. <laughs> yeah, I kind of agree on that. I think that was... Just, I really dislike how they did that. The stacking stuff. Yeah, they should, they should have done more of the... Um, what they did in, um, in Call to Power. Where they basically had limited fronts. Just like in EU4 and... Yeah, but, those games. but remember, Call to Power was done by Accolade. It wasn't done by Fear Axis. No, no, not Accolade. Uh, Activision. Activision, Accolade. Acca something. My point being is the uh, different group, different goals. Blast it. So if I move, you're going to kill it. Maybe. Uh, if I do that, you're going to kill it. Ah, boo. I'm not going to give you advantages, AI. Yeah, I'm kind of worried because... Um, yeah, the Indonesians have quite a lot of troops in my area. Not too happy about that. Understandable. On the right side, my city is growing nicely. Spain is now Thanks. protecting Kiziko. So that's where I wanted it. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Very unhappy people, but I don't care. Shiny happy people eating clam. I can't move. I can do that. I can do that. And hopefully he won't move into the... I'll also see you next turn. Ugh. Dim 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 that and that. Slightly unhappy people. Oh, yeah, we'll have to fix this. Kill them all. Ah, uh, it's if kind of another pantheon. I'm starting to feel very far behind there. And yet you uh, double, you think, yet you've almost doubled my score. I darn well hope I did because I found the two cities. I'm still in my first city, unfortunately. And there's nothing I can do about it right now for five more turns. So, Indonesia. Stop going into my area of the map. You stay on the other side of the continent, which belongs to you. I'm very fond of the Shoshone initial territory grab. <laughs> I'm really enjoying that. Mm -hmm. I basically pushed in Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, pushed the border there quite effectively. Well, that's good. Found the city next door, next to them, have more and have more territory than them already. So you're being evil. 
I could say that. Ouch. Okay, so now I... Right, I forgot. I got happiness from a city-state. Whoops. That explains why I'm suddenly tanking in happiness. I lost that bonus. So I have minus two happiness from that. Oh. I'm at minus three happiness. They're very grouchy. They'll have to remain grouchy for a while. Let's see now, there's a barbarian encampment over there. And I want the gold. I want their gold. Me precious. Uh, quite so. I'm about to find out if there's iron anywhere near me. Wow, you're... You're way ahead. The bronze working isn't that late of a tech. Oh, I thought, so I thought it came, didn't show up to iron working. Oh, so uh, it's the bronze working now. That was changed a long time ago. I am very rusty. Yes. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, we did play a multiplayer game, but I think that was Civ 4. I don't think we actually played Civ 5. Yeah, no, I think that was 4. By this That's... point, by this point, you had all all of the wonders up through the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Do I want? Yeah. Let's see. That could be kind of useful. Yeah. Sure. Um, now to make sure that the barbarians don't spawn right next to me. Uh. Are you setting up patrols? No, since I have all... <laughs> well, since I started off with the Pathfind unit, I built, well, quite a few of the uh, um, scouts. And they didn't get the upgrade that I was hoping for, because I did only found two good yachts. But they're still useful to station around your territory and keep huts from yeah. spawning. And I found El Dorado. I can't complain. That's the absolute best start I could, could get. I mean, 500 free gold at the start, that's huge. That's kind of yeah. why I'm... Hmm. Kind of why you're turning in a rate... Really? Uh, barbarian ship just arrived. Uh, did you have work boats that got blown up? No, I don't have that tech yet. In that case, it shot shouldn't bother you too much. I hope, unless you have trade ships. No, if you don't mm. have ships, you don't have. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you make money now. By the way, if you that's the trade route stuff. So you need caravans and you need cargo ships eventually. Then you need to protect the trade routes. Yeah. Same thing as in the uh, Civ Beyond Earth. That system. I think I got half of one playthrough in before I shelved that game as not being <laughs> interesting. And I kind of like the game. The problem is that they tried to go... Tried to make the leaders customizable during the game and then kind of failed at that. And that meant that the leaders were very bland compared to the game that was basically its, well, spiritual predecessor, if nothing else, mm -hmm. of Centauri. Uh. Let's get out there and kill some barbarians. Oh! They stole a worker. I want that worker. Upgrades, everyone. I don't know about that, but...
Uh, let's see. And you also have that special tile improvement, right? Because you're the Polynesians. Uh, oh, yeah. the, the Maori statues. And more, more, more I. Oh, I, yeah. I think it's that. I think that was it called. That's what it's called. Yeah. Look. yeah. Occasionally I can speak. I just mess with the words a lot. Mess with the words. Uh, da, da, da. That's okay. Yes. The word. That's okay. The words mess with the heads. I'm kind of confused that the uh, tile picker for. Um, ah. But then when the city city got founded, that the, when the tiles they picked, they did not pick the El Dorado. We just kind of. I why? don't know why they didn't pick that. I why want the El Dorado. Why would you not pick El Dorado? Not sure either, because it's it doesn't have yield any food. I think that's why. Oh, okay. Well, Yields early, five culture. Early cities need the food. Yeah, I think that so. Yeah, that does not really matter. I can always buy it if need be, but I don't think Pedro's gonna settle up there. I, I hope he's not going to do that. Stay away. Stay away, stay away. Ah, uh, Kuala Lumpur. Ah, uh, okay. I forget, Dun -dun. how far apart should cities be? Well, they control uh, three squares in every direction. Oh, but you can build... So, but the, the minimum direction, I believe, is two squares between cities, I think. Two or three, maybe. Uh, but uh, ideally, well, if you feel confident in that uh, you can control all the space, then you should leave each one with three squares in all directions. But yeah, I would build them closer than that because you're not going to get that much territory. Yeah, there's just some glorious resources that are really close. But if I move one more, I build a city on some of the resources. So it's like... If you do that, you st you still harvest the resource, I think, but you don't get the building on top of it. If it's a strategic resource, you still get access to it by doing that. Oh, interesting. Uh, uh, I mean, I've got a cattle right here that I may probably put the city on top of. A cattle isn't strategic, though, so... But, but since we are playing on a, with abundant resources, we're bound to get that kind of problems. Yeah, I mean, this... No, this, this actually ends up being a good spot for it. It gives me some reasonably good room for growth. Although I, I move... want a religion. Religions that can still be found at five. Okay. That's quite a few. I thought it was going to be less. No, we don't. There aren't that many out there yet. So there are at least two other players that are, two AI players that are going for religions. I'm a third. I don't know if you've started building a shrine or something. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a shrine up and running. Hmm. I'm one faith away, I think, from a pantheon. Uh, Vatican City. No, we're gonna take it. I want that worker. They talk. Yeah, some of the, the barbarians had captured a worker belonging to a city state. I wanted that. All oh, right, it's not. Wait a second, isn't it embark? Yeah, that. Oh, it's optics that allows you to embark. Okay. Ah. Uh. No, it's not. It's being Polynesian that lets you embark. Aren't you paying attention? <laughs> so let's see. Uh, food, two faith from quarries. Jungles. Nah, nah, nah. Sacred waters is kind of interesting. Plus one happiness. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I'm trying to decide on my pantheon. I'm sorry, that's going to take a... Yeah, I know. I know. I'll go get a book. <laughs> uh. Let's see. One, two, three pastures. Four, five, six culture. I'm 
And that would give me uh, gold and silver. Yeah, well, lots of silver. Now, the one I wanted was the plantation one, but that, that's already been taken, so that's why I'm kind of struggling here. What to go with instead. Just remember, there's no perfect choice. Of course there is. Uh, I'll go get a bigger book. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be boring then. Uh, I'm going to go with that. Call of Craftsman. Uh, and so many messages. There we go. Or, uh, never mind. I'll be good. Hmm? Nothing. I'll be good. <laughs> Will you now? Oh, I'm sorry. I did mean to let you finish your book. I can start a new one your next turn. But hey, look at your point scores. You're no longer in last place. Give me, give, me, give me time. <laughs> I'll get back down there. Yeah, Pedro is now below you. He still only has one city, as far as I know. And the, that other one there is Gandhi. Well, Gandhi kind of has to because they, he can't spread out, as, if I remember right. He has the... Well, his entire bonus is basically building tall rather than wide. And building wide has a very nasty effect on happiness. Mm -hmm. No one longer need my, needs my help, huh? But what if I want to help you, huh? Uh, these city states keep pounding me for help, and then they decide, ah, we don't really need your help any after all. These wacky city states. Yes, indeed. I'm kind of worried about my one neighbor. Why is that? Uh, because he. Oh my goodness! Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Wheat banana deer. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, well, he has a lot of units in my vicinity. I don't like it. Uh, city states. Where did I see that again? I know there is a diplomacy button here somewhere. Uh, da, 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 da. You want what? So scientist, you want money. You want me to demand tribute and you want me to generate an admiral. Ah. Uh. Yeah, get on that Admiral thing right away. Not exactly the great people I'm going to be building now. Uh, no, uh, goodbye. An unmet player has been through the classical era. That's definitely okay. Now I'm feeling behind. So let's see, on my continent there seems to be two wonders. Okay. Lake Victoria, which has already been taken by a city-state. And of the El Dorado, which I'm hopefully gonna grab. Hopefully. Well, may you be successful in your grabbings. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know. It depends entirely on on Pedro. Yeah, still hasn't built a single city. Which is starting to worry me a bit. Being me, I did go for expansion. Or rather, the Liberty 3. Because I want to expand. And quickly, and... Let's see. Give me, give me wonder. Give me wonder. Are you already building wonders? Yes. Yep. Typical game with Geb. 
it's also time for us to move on. Okay, then I guess we'll take a short break and we will I will enjoy having finished the Stone Maiden, Stonehenge next turn. Next episode. <laughs> Thanks for watching.